Hi, I'm Dietz. I'm a digital artist and entertainment student at West Kortrijk in Belgium. And this is my first assignment for my course Integration Projects. Um, what we had to do was, the first part of the assignment was to make the beginning of the game with a tutorial given to us by the teacher. The second part of the assignment was to make a mod that made your game personal like uh, different from any other student. First of all, I want to apologize for my English because it's not my native language and it's not perfect and I also have a cold so please bear with me. Um, what we had after the first part of the assignment and so the tutorial was we had the spaceship, the asteroids floating around, we could destroy the asteroids, we could be destroyed by the asteroids like we just saw now <laughs> and we had a little user interface with score and lives so if we died we lose a life if we destroy an asteroid we gain points what I added to the game was um, first of all a level system if you reach an amount of score you gain a level and uh, what those levels bring is extra game components like for example if I reached level 2 um, the big asteroids like you can see here could split up in two smaller asteroids it only has a 15% chance of doing that though because I wanted to make it harder when you gain more levels so at level 6 or something it's 30% at a high level it's 60% and so on also the on later levels the smaller asteroids could split up and even smaller asteroids so in the entire game you have three different kinds of asteroids to bring uh, some variety to the game uh, a second thing that the level system brings is uh, at level 4, 10 and 16 I think an extra asteroid spawner comes into game so it becomes harder to survive, more asteroids come into the game um, more asteroids split up into smaller asteroids so if you gain levels the game does become harder and you will have to be good to survive but that's the point of the game, I don't want to make the game too easy because I would like to work with a high score and if the game is very easy the high score would be beaten by any random player. Um, a second thing I added was uh, at the end of the tutorial, so part one of the assignment, the asteroid spawner was just in the middle of the screen. So you could pick your place on the map, just point towards the asteroid spawner and just spam bullets. You would gain a loads of score by just spamming one simple button. So that was kind of boring, so what I changed is I gave the asteroid spawner a random positioning. Uh, I thought that was cool because um, every time you play the game it will be a little bit different. Uh, you can never say, oh, I'm just going to stand on that place because I know the asteroid spawner is going to be there. No, it's always going to be different, so every time you play the game it will be a little bit different. Um, and then what I also added was uh, power-ups, that's the sparkling things you can see here. Every asteroid has a different chance of dropping one of those power-ups. It's not that big, but big enough to see a few of them in the game. And the pow there's only one power-up and that's the sparkling thing, but the thing is um, the one power-up has a random chance of giving you something. It, can, it always gives you points, uh, 50 points for one power-up, and um, then it can give you either an extra life, an uh, extra nuke, or the ability that you saw already is uh, the ability to fire three bullets at once, or absolutely nothing but points. So yeah, I didn't want to give the power-up the ability to always give you a power-up because again the game would be a little bit too easy, you could just collect power-ups and gain loads of life, loads of nukes and yeah, that's not what I intended to do so 
you don't always get what you want it's just random so you hope for something but you get something different um, so the lives yeah that speaks for itself the nuke is an extra weapon uh, at the top of your of my screen at the, in the middle you can see the amount of nukes you have and the nuke destroys every asteroid in the game so if I show you now that's what happens when you use a nuke <laughs> I would save the nukes for uh, later in the game when it gets harder because you will need them if uh, you have like four asteroid spawners and every asteroid splits up in a little one you will need that nuke um, and then the ability to fire three bullets instead of one is yeah it's just the same button you just fire bullets but like you just saw now I died and then I lose the ability to fire three bullets because I yeah if if you um, yeah I think it's just if you die you don't you lose some stuff it's just the way it is <laughs> so yeah that's it I think that's everything I added I had a lot more ideas like uh, more power-ups um, a boss like uh, cannons you could place around that also fire uh, at the asteroids but if the cannon dies it explodes and it does damage to the asteroids and the spaceship in a uh, amount of range um, I also had the idea for like every level you could uh, a menu would pop up and um, you could give an upgrade to your spaceship but because of lack of time and lack of knowledge knowledge um, I could only imply this mod <laughs>